for some reason the last recording didn't record so I'm going to go back and do just a small section here starting on page 25 uh, where he introduces assigning variables so again I'm on the first edition so pages have changed then you can uh, you can figure out where we picked up here so we'll just start off you can see that I have a lot of these over here actually I'm going to clear all those out so that we don't have to be bothered with old ones. Um, let's see, I can look back or uh, try to decide if I want to try to remember what it uh, the erase is or go back and look at it. Uh, since I'm on here and I want to try to make this quick, I'm going to go to just copy the remove function and copy it in here. This should erase all those variables and there we are. So we're starting with a clean stitch slate here. We'll start off with assigning into AA the square root of 5 and we should see it displayed over here. So there it goes. Uh, so notice we don't see it down in the console so this is the R console. If you're running it straight in R then that's all you would see. So you can see what variables there are. Well, that is not what I was expecting to see. Oh, because we are just wanting to uh, list and see what there is. Oops, run that. All right, so we see that all we have is the AA data structure. So if we want to see what's in AA, then we just do AA and run it. Now we can see it. And if we want to be able to see it immediately as we're assigning it, and we've already assigned it, and we won't see any different if we run it the way that he does it. I'll go ahead and do it the same so that we can see it. Yes, we do get the same output that he does. Um, if we want to see a difference, then we'll do 25 and just see what happens. So there it is. Uh, we can see that it changed to 5 in both places as we would expect. So I'll put it back to 5. So now we're right at the same place as uh, in the book. So the next one is showing we want it to display down in the console. So we put the parentheses. And we're going to take AA as it is and add 2 to it. And that new value goes into AA. So there we have it. So the next one is to run two lines of kind of two, two uh, commands at the same time. Square root of 16. Our parentheses are already there. We'll go ahead and run it. See both of them appear down here. Oh, I put a different number in than he did. He put in nine. So if we run it the same as he did, we get the same result that he did. And here's where he's introducing how to remove AA. Oops. Control Enter. And it runs it. And there's only one, so it removes it. And the next one that he's showing is to delete all data structures, which is actually what we did right at the very beginning. So I won't repeat that. So we'll look at the sample now. Uh, the first thing we'll do is put several values into x. So the colon means to put everything from 1 through 10. So there should be 10 numbers in there. And we can see that it is, even though it only shows a successful command in the console. And now we're going to sample them. And we don't need to put size equals since the second parameter in there means size. But we'll go ahead and type it all out so that we can just see it all. For me, maybe it will help me remember it. And we'll run it. So the replace equals true means that it could reuse the same numbers because it's as though it's replacing it back in the pool of numbers and we can see that 8 appeared twice. So that's not unusual. So this one should be the 
very same command, just omitting some of the extra information since null is default and we don't need to put size, we don't need to put replace, that's the same command. And it's sampling, so we wouldn't expect the same, the same exact numbers. Oh, actually, he was doing a progression, so it's showing. You can even put null in there, even though you don't have to. I'm just going to... You can take the null out, which is what we already did. And then the false is the default. So the default is to not replace it. So notice on this had a repeat 8, this had a repeat 8. Hmm, this one didn't. This one did. So this one cannot. Notice it does not. And uh, we can actually take that out because the false is default. And that's the same command as the false. So just a couple more. We want to see what's in X. And if we want to sample what's in X, it's already a vector, so it's taking a sample of everything that's in that vector. And then one more. I had to read this a few times to wrap my mind around what it was doing. But since it's a single number 10, it appears that it's making it into a vector by saying 1 through 10. So it's doing essentially the same thing as when it already starts with a vector of 10. And then we could close off here with quitting. And the last few times in our studio that I've tried to do this, it quits the console and it also quits our studio. But it seems that our studio isn't expecting to be uh, shut down that way. So the next time I open it, it has problems. So I'm not actually going to do that. I'm going to take it out there. And that's all we'll stop for now.